Speaking of self-love, Dr. Nikhil, you know, how important is it to surrender to, say, moments of being still in meditation and reading or what have you, and also adopting that flow state in motion? So I do that, obviously. You mentioned martial arts, which is, again, I've seen your transformation. I've seen your journey. And I, didn't, I, I couldn't really grasp how you promoted martial arts so much until I actually started practicing the mm. martial arts. And when I engage in martial arts specific to our forms that we do in our, in our school, it's almost like a, a spirit takes over and I tap into that flow state. I appreciate myself so much at a greater and deeper level. You know, having a still mind in the flow states, that's a good way to put it. That's like, that's where the money's at. That's where all the money's at. And I say that metaphorically mm. and even, mm. and even literally like meditation it's, you have to control, you have to be able to control your mind. You have to be able to focus your mind in order to be successful at anything. Whatever it is that you want to be, you want to be a rapper, you want to be anything you want to be. You have to be able to focus your mind and be able to uh, focus and work and put your hours in, regardless of what it is. Professionally, in any profession, whether you're a doctor, lawyer, teacher, Anything, there's so many, and those are just like things that come to mind. You can have your own business, which is what I really promote, independence and whatnot. You have to be able to focus your mind. And meditation is the purpose and the practice of focusing one's mind. So when I meditate, I try to see light. I try to feel love and I try not to have my thoughts control me, but instead control my thoughts and focus my mind. So that, and then the flow states, that's where it's at. Things go in cycles. You know, you start to slowly warm up and then get more and more intense and build it up. That's how you train good. Then you go to a period of intensity and then you slow back down, stretch a little bit and then get back or deeper into it and more intensity. If you start to learn to work like that, study like that, you know, work like that, really get in the groove of things. You start to really get in the zone. And that's what we saw Jordan do. That's what we saw. How you train is how you perform when it's when the pressure's on. So getting, I want to, I try to do that every day. That's what I really try to do is to get into that flow state to where point where you keep flowing, and you start to really be connected to everything around you.